tonight, leaving Tennessee and entering Kentucky. Oh, my old Kentucky home. Oh, yeah. Hello, I'm Tom Varner, and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, we've come to Oak Grove Cemetery in Paducah, Kentucky, to see the grave of John Scopes. John Scopes was the man who was sued for teaching evolution in Tennessee. He actually he lost his case, but it gained international fame. Uh, the play and later the movie Inherit the Wind was all based upon that trial, which was a uh, trial of wits between Clarence Darrow and William, William Jennings Bryan. Scopes was a native. He grew up here in Paducah, Kentucky, and he's buried here in the old cemetery, Oak Grove Cemetery. So we've just come out. We've just come out to check out his grave. There is a historical mark on just outside of Oak Grove Cemetery. Three is the Scopes Monkey Trial. The July 1925 trial of John T. Scopes had an issue of academic freedom, separation of church and state, and reconciling of science and religion. Scopes' defender was Clarence Darrow, his prosecutor, William Jennings Bryan. Scopes was convicted and fined $100. He later worked as a geologist in South America and Louisiana. The law he violated was repealed in 1967. Scopes died in 1970. The other side reads, Here is buried the man who at age 24 taught Darwin's theory of evolution to a Dayton, to, to a Dayton Tennessee biology class. The Paducah native and University of Kentucky graduated violated a Tennessee law forbidding the teaching of evolution. This test case, tried in Dayton, gained international attention. The popular play Inherit the Wind is based on the infamous or famous Stokes trial. Gotta admit, it's kind of weird and a little bit creepy driving through this old cemetery in the pouring rain. It just gives it an eerie glow and whatnot. And uh, here, towards the end of, edge of this Oak Grove Cemetery, just across the, the road from this tree, right next to this marker, is the grave of John T. Scopes from the famous Scopes Monkey Trial. Wow, pretty simple grave. Nothing ex ex extemporaneous about it, except it says, man, a man of courage, written on there. Now, whether you believe what Scopes did was right or was wrong, regardless, that trial gained international attention and is an important although kind of a side note importance in the history of the United States, especially in social studies and whatnot. So I just came out here to see the man who was responsible for all of that. I read about him in textbooks. I didn't know he was from Paducah, Kentucky, but he, he is, he was, and so that's why we stopped. Well, this has been another adventure in TV land. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. 
Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit, or you have a suggestion about a future video, or something like that, just leave a comment in the comment section. And if you would like to support and join the Adventures in TV Land financially, you can do so by making a donation at buymeacoffee.com. Or for as low as just one dollar, you can help support the Adventures in TV Land. Until next time, that's a wrap.